Welcome to Horatio's Garden Midlands, designed by Bunny Guinness for patients, their visitors and staff at the Midlands Centre for Spinal Injuries. This area is the Woodland Walk, which is lined with multi-stem Betula nigra, the river birch, with its beautiful, peeling, shaggy bark. You can see it's underplanted with Anemone hubehensis, Pamina, Legula sylvatica, Trioptoris, Hacanacloa macra, Strantia shaggy and perennial stocks. The garden wraps around two sides of the spinal unit, so patients can either wheel themselves out or be pushed down in their beds or wheelchairs by staff, or in normal times by volunteers or visitors. It's designed to be as accessible as possible for patients who are new to using wheelchairs, so it's absolutely flat and nice wide paths. Many patients are involved in horticultural therapy, often out here in the fabulous Griffin greenhouse. They might be involved with propagation, sowing seeds, taking cuttings, dividing plants, picking out, potting on and so on. Others like to come out here to read or just sit and enjoy the different scents. So the greenhouse is filled with many different scented pelagoniums, lemon verbena, Tajitis lemoni, Nicotiana sylvestris, fabulous evening scent, and tomato plants. This is our green roof, planted up with drought tolerant plants such as Cedar matrona, Euphorbia robiae, and Festuca glauca. These raised beds are at different heights to allow patients opportunities for planting and tending plants, often ones that they've grown in the greenhouse previously. They might be involved with harvesting fruit or veg, or cutting flowers, or helping to design what goes in the beds. To the right you can see these tall yew hedges, which give a bit of privacy and shelter to the garden, and these fabulous Annabelle hydrangeas. You can see four galvanised steel planters, each with an osmanthus, which are flowering now with tiny little white flowers with a divine scent, and filled with these marvellous cherry Erigeron Kavinskyanus, which just bloom and bloom. These planters are positioned throughout the garden with steel branches arching overhead. This is our serpentine rill. A very popular feature, patients often sit or lie here watching or listening to the water rippling over the pebbles and there's often goldfinches twittering above in the birches. This alcove is planted up with hydrangea limelight, moss sedum matrona and James Austin roses. It's one of several small alcoves which give nice secluded areas for patients to come outside and have a bit of peace and quiet, either privacy with guests or maybe even outside therapy or nursing. Each one's planted up slightly differently. This one's got Persicaria alba and rosea and Desdemona roses. This is the wheelchair training skills and children's play area. It centres around this magnificent magnolia, rumoured to have been planted by Agnes Hunt who founded the hospital. The area is planted up with plants which will withstand children running through the beds when they're playing. So you can see lots of symphytum. This is Hidcote Blue, which the bees adore in early spring. And there's Bamboo, Phyllostachys oreocalis and Nigra. And more Lusula sylvatica. Through the gate you can just see some uh, Rosa Scarborough Fair with its gorgeous pink blooms. This is the avenue. It's filled with beautiful scented flowers which mingle together perfectly. There's Olivia Rose, Nepita Summer Magic, Bronze Fennel and lots of lavender. The garden's got the perfect combination of soothing colours and scents along with an abundance of birds, bees and butterflies providing a sanctuary in which nature can offer its healing powers for all those able to share this space.